cleaner has resigned. Oh, yes. But who is this man? Well, don't worry. He'll still be in the news. He's going to be the running for public office. As mayor. So we're now going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headline of... And lots of... Well, you know part of it is, I know you get to see this, the ocean, but there's something kind of therapeutic about the ocean, which is probably more than what I have to say about the news. Yeah. <laughs> right? Exactly. We get to see the ocean shots a lot, because there's nothing, there's nobody on the beach for us. And Obama to publicly destroy any company that stands against his health care plan. Well, yeah, they're going to call these companies that have said they're going to start laying workers off in front of Congress and open up all of their books which is illegal and unconstitutional, but they, one guy said, has that stopped Obama from doing anything that was illegal? And on top of that, they're trying to explain. The people just don't seem to understand that this is the most consumer and business-friendly president this nation has ever had. And Democrat survey show doctors fleeing from private practice because of Obamacare. I know. Uh, they said that they're going to... Uh, they said that that's going to have to be put a halt to because these people are trying to destroy the uh, uh, the health care system by dropping out of private practice. No, under Obama they can't make any money. And you've got huge bills you got to pay, folks. They don't get that in the White House. And mark it up on horrible news and business back to normal. Yeah, I mean, okay, uh, more than 50 50 percent of the states have serious unemployment problems that is not changing. And um, and they said the Greece problem hasn't gotten any better. You know, the, uh, you know we're in public, they said public confidence is sank again. Obama's approval rating is sank again. So that's the reason for, we have got to understand what businesses are going up. They are actually a business that's controlled by Obama. Are you serious? Yeah, the financials, the insurance agencies, and health care are all going up. Oh, and automotive too, even though the cars aren't selling. And Wisconsin Supreme Court upholds controversial union law. Well, no, I mean, like I said, the Democrat is in charge of the Supreme Court, and he ruled that uh, that if the Democrats advocated their responsibility when they fled the state in order to avoid a vote on the topic. So Republicans gave; they said they had they had like three weeks' notice that there was going to be a vote held, and simply didn't pay any attention to it. Representative Anthony Weiner resigns from Congress. Yeah, but like they said, don't worry because he's going to get, he's getting ready to get his payoff now. He, he was going to uh, run for the mayorship of New York and since he is, they, they said the sad part about all of this is that the, uh, the Democrats don't understand that he did anything wrong. They're supporting him in New York City and he's likely to be the overwhelming choice for the Democratic nomination for mayor. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, they can't find out. They, they absolutely, they said they do not know the right right from wrong in the Democratic Party. All they know is it was going to hurt their campaign. That's when they think they got to get rid of it. Solar-powered plane, second cross-border flight, cut short. Yeah, because there's no sun. I mean, that what they don't understand is if you don't have any sunlight, you don't have uh, anything powered by the solar stuff, like right now. I think now. how much solar power we can get right now. I know, and they're, they're running solar ads all over television saying that the government has uh, has put in these programs. Well, solar is no good in, in weather like this, and we're in the third year of this almost every day. And conflicting policies are blind under ash confused. Yeah, it, it, it's, an, it's Obama, folks. And that, that is a, that everything under the Obama administration is conflicting. And Perry, yeah. wow. they're flying kind of low in the clouds. Yeah. And Perry, still time to decide on a White House run. Well, because the Republicans don't want him. I mean, he's, he's he's wanted less than Romney. So unless they bring in somebody out there that the the public actually wants to vote for to run for president, they're handing the presidency to Barack Obama, which people, I mean, it's just ridiculous. The Republicans don't like Obama and his policies, so they'll elect, they'll deliberately nominate somebody because he fits their mode that oh, really? can't beat Obama. And Strauss Kahn told police in New York he had immunity. Yep, he did. Uh, they could not arrest him. You know, they said, well, he was there on private business. Uh, it doesn't make any difference if you have a diplomatic immunity and you have a diplomatic passport, you can't be arrested. Are you serious? Yeah, but that uh, Obama doesn't care. He wanted to get rid of the guy. He got rid of him. And they all figured they're going to dump this thing off. I mean, I mean they're just, uh, 
He's not paying for the. He doesn't have the money to pay the rent on the place he's at, so probably the government's paying it for him. A mysterious mountain lion killed in Connecticut. Yeah, because you don't have mountain lions in Connecticut, so how to get there? Probably they have mountain lions in the area they didn't realize they had. They've been hiding out for years. Exclusive China software bug makes infrastructure vulnerable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a, you know, don't, you know, don't get anything that comes from China is the best way to put it. And food and gas prices dropping. Uh, not that anybody could see in a grocery store. Go to the gas pump and look at the four dollars on the, uh, the gas per gallon out there. But it's about, it, this is from the Obama people, though, that there is no inflation. Food prices are lower than ever. Gas prices are if they're only 150 percent higher than they were before Obama took over. Analysis: High frequency trade. I know it. They are really low. High frequency trade sparks less fires in commodities. Well, it's because if they do things by computer, uh, it's instantaneous anymore. Whereas if you were doing them by telephone or by ticker, it took a while. But now, I mean, you can destroy the market in a matter of seconds today. It really does. Yeah. It's, you know, it's all that computer programming. Yeah. And Obama adds more academics to his new job council, but still no one that has actually worked for a living. I know. He doesn't understand that why the business community doesn't trust him. Well, because he has, he never worked for a living. None of the people that he's got working for him have worked for a living. Daly, who is his new chief of staff, uh, even though he was a businessman, never worked. He basically just ran businesses. There's a difference. And so... And the world's oldest light bulb has been on for 110 years. Yeah, you know, because it shows you what can be. And it's basically an earthquake area. I think it's set to the firehouse. Oh, really? Yeah. And Apple recalled some Verizon iPad 2 tablets. Yeah, and it said that no matter what people are saying, Apple is starting to fall apart in a lot of areas, folks. Oh, really? Because they said customer service stinks. <laughs> when they say they're, they're no longer say there's a problem. There's the, the uh, you know, it's like there's a, ma a man-made adventure. And Debbie Reynolds auctions off Hollywood treasures. Yeah, because uh, she basically, they're too expensive to maintain anymore. And she's getting, you know, and she's in her middle 70s and insurance is killing. So, you know, she couldn't get her museum built like she wanted. So, I mean, I actually went to her uh, her casino in Las Vegas, you know, where, where she had the stuff put. And uh, she couldn't get anybody to come to the casino because it was off the strip in, a, in an alleyway. And we could actually, oh, well, that's kind of hard if it's off an alleyway. Yeah. Well, you know, we actually could go look at it, too. Yeah. And couples custody battle leads to double sting on Facebook. I know. Basically, they're, they don't put anything on Facebook, folks. And if you do, boy, something's going behind this. Look. There's a funeral. Oh, is there a funeral procession back of us? I think so. We've got a big funeral procession. Uh, incoming inequality costing Americans their happiness. Well, I know. They said that Obama wants to equalize everybody's wealth in the nation. Then it will make everybody happy. It won't make the people that have lost everything they have because of him happy. I mean, that, that, that the socialists never think of. When you take the stuff from the people at the top who are running everything, there is no incentive to run anything anymore, so everything comes to a halt. Which so the Obama base again, he's pissed off again today because the worker, the businesses are not hiring people. And if you don't hiring pe start hiring people, we're going to have to start uh, hiring them for you. I love that. And South Korea held return of royal bo books looted 145 years ago. Yeah, uh, you know, basically the the, 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 the Chinese and the Japanese are always looting Korea. Are they? Yeah. Explosions in Tripoli and rebels seize Libyan towns. Not, okay, they're seizing Libyan towns by simple fact that NATO is giving them protection. But the problem is, is that NATO is pissing off everybody in the area. And, I mean, they're about ready to teach Barack Hussein Obama the lesson of his life today. The Democrats are going to vote to cut off his funding for all of his little adventures. Serious? Yeah, they said that these, you know, uh, they're tired of this. Is, he's their man. They said we're tired of a president that shows contempt for what's going on, saying, I, I have the legal right to do it, so go to hell, is what he keeps telling Congress. Uncovering the truth why women fake it. Because they can. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys can't, a woman can. I mean, that's really simple logic. But they, they actually, Democrats did pay for that stuff. Uh, that survey was done with stimulus money, so.
what, what did the result say? The, they said women fake it because they can. That's well, what, all they had to do was ask a woman. I, well, they asked men about it, not women, so... Um, oh, and a Monty Bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That, actually, this is from the sad thing, you know, from the, an event we went to last night. It's never good when you meet someone you worked with 30 years ago, and that person who's old and worn out asks you, are you the son of him? And you have to tell the poor guy, no, I'm him. And he goes, you know, gives you the F letter word with his head down and walks off. <laughs>